एवरीवन चिल्ड्रन लव देयर पेरेंट्स दे रिलाय ऑन देयर पेरेंट्स फॉर फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ देयर विशेस वेदर बिग और स्मॉल समटाइम्स पेरेंट्स कैन फुलफिल द विशेस ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन समटाइम्स दे कांट देयर इज एन अनकंडीशनल एंड प्योर बॉन्ड बिटवीन अ पेरेंट एंड अ चाइल्ड एंड दे कैन नॉट थिंक ऑफ पार्टिंग फ्रॉम ईच अदर इन दिस चैप्टर द लॉस्ट चाइल्ड ऑफ क्लास 9 a child goes to a fair with his parents he is very excited he sees things in the fair and wants them like toys sweets balloons etc but his parents do not buy them for him then why does the child refuses all those things when someone else offers them to him let's see in the chapter the lost child by mulkraj anand it was the festival of spring from the wintry shades of narrow lanes and alleys alleys are long narrow passages emerged a gaily clad humanity gaily clad as brightly dressed and cheerful some walked some rode on horses others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts one little boy ran between his father's legs brimming over with life and laughter brimming over is full of it was spring time and there was a fair in the village and in the wintry shades of narrow lanes from the narrow lanes and passages of villages came people who were brightly dressed and cheerful and as per their status some people were walking some were riding on horses others were sitting some were being carried in bamboo and bullock cart and within that crowd there was a little boy who was running between the legs of his father that means through the legs of his father he was full of life and laughter little children they are excited when they see such things outside like fairs and the world outside come child come called his parents and he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way so a child being child was being fascinated by the toys that he was seeing uh, in the shops displayed in the shops while his parents were carrying uh, calling him continuously when he was lagging behind he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their call obedient is agreeing and complying with so he was listening to his parents and running when his parents called his eyes still lingering on the receding toys lingering is lasting that means looking at for a long time receding means passing by toys as he came to where they had stopped to wait for him he could not suppress the desire suppress means to withhold the desire of his heart even though he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes old cold stare is denying through gestures without saying anything so through the eyes he could see that his parents will not buy anything for him still he was not able to suppress that means keep his desire with him as he was looking at the toys passing by uh, hanging in the shops i want that toy he pleaded his father looked at him red eyed in his familiar tyrant's way familiar is usual or well known and tyrant is a person who suppresses other so he the boy told for his desire that he wants that toy but his father gave him a red eyed familiar and tyrant look as if saying that he is not going to buy anything while his mother melted by the free spirit of the day was tender and giving him his finger to hold said look child what is before you so mothers are generally soft hearted they are tender towards their children and she was already happy due to the free spirit due to the happy day outside she was soft and she gave her finger to the child to hold and said look child what is before you see the things around you it was a flowering mustard field pale like melting gold as it swept across miles and miles of even land so they were passing through the field it's a village scene and they were passing through the mustard field which was uh, the there were yellow mustard flower like melted gold in the land a group of dragon flies were bustling about on their gaudy purple wings bustling means moving quickly gaudy means attractive and impressive so a group of dragon fly was fly, uh, passing through there intercepting that means interfering or blocking the flight of a lone black bee or butterfly in search of sweetness from the flowers so dragon flies were interfering they were coming on the way of a lonely butterfly which had come out for the search of sweetness from the flower to suck the nectar of the flower the child followed them in the air with his gaze till one of them would still its wings and rest and he would try to catch it 
The child looked at the dragonflies and the butterfly. He followed them with his looks. Till one of them would settle down somewhere and the child would run to catch it. But it would go fluttering, flapping up into the air when he had almost caught it in his hands. But as soon as the child reached near the butterfly, it would just go fly violently by flapping its wings and it would go away uh, as soon as he would try to catch them. Then his mother gave a cautionary call. Come child, come. Come onto the footpath. So as he was lagging behind, his mother called again. Come child, come on the footpath. He ran towards his parents gaily and walking abreast of them. Abreast is to keep pace with them. For a while, being however soon left behind, attracted by the little insects and worms along the footpath that were teeming out from their hiding places to enjoy the sunshine. So the child ran to uh, to go along with his parents but after some time he would again lag behind as he was being attracted by the things that he was finding on the footpath this time it was insects and worms that were coming out from their hiding places to enjoy the bright sunshine come child come his parents called from the shade of a groove groove means a big tree where they had seated themselves on the edge of the wall he ran towards them. So the parents again called as they were resting uh, below a tree and the child came. A shower of young flowers fell upon the child as he entered the group and forgotten his, for, forgetting his parents, he began to gather the raining petals in his hands. So child being a child, he was being attracted by everything that he was finding on his way. This time it was flowers coming from the tree. Uh, he was trying to collect those petals in his hand. But lo, he heard the cooing of doves and ran towards his parents shouting, the dove, the dove. The raining petals dropped from his forgotten hands. So as for he was collecting the petals, he heard the sounds of doves and then he ran towards his parents sh shouting with excitement, the dove, the dove. And the petals, they dropped from his hand. Come child, come, they called to the child who had now gone running in wild capers round the banyan tree and gathering him up, they took the narrow winding footpath which led to the fair through the mustard fields. Running in wild capers means running happily with excitement. So the parents called again and the child, he was running happily with excitement around the banyan tree. They gathered their child and from the narrow lane, they walked through the footpath towards the, through the mustard fields towards the fair. As they neared the village, the child could see many other footpaths full of throngs. Throng is a large and dense crowd of people. So there was a fair in the village and everybody gets excited when there is fair in the village. So there, it was very much crowded. Everybody was going towards the fair. Converging to the whirlpool of the fair. So that crowd was converting uh, or going into the center of the fair. Whirlpool of fair means center of the fair. So the, uh, all the people, they were going towards the fair and felt at once repelled and fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering. Repelled means, repelled means to drive away. So at the same time, he was getting attracted towards the place where everybody was going and he was also getting a little scared and, and he was being driven away. He was getting away from there. So it was a confusing world for him because he had never seen such a large crowd. So he was uh, in a way getting attracted and also at the same time repelled by, repelled by the confusing world that he was about to enter. That means the crowded fair. A sweetmeat seller hopped. Gulab jamun, rasgulla, burfi, jalebi at the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed round his corner at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets decorated with leaves of silver and gold so in a fair we often find various vendors selling various things so it was a sweet meat seller which who was selling the various kind of sweets and there was a crowd that was surrounding him looking at his different colors sweets that were decorated in leaves of silver and gold silver color and gold the child stared upon eyed and uh, open eyed and his mouth watered for burfi that burfi that was his favorite sweet i want that burfi he slowly murmured but he half knew as he begged that his plea would not be heeded because his parents would say he was greedy so without waiting for an answer he moved on so as he went near the sweet meat seller he was attracted by burfi which was his favorite sweet and he tried to express he slowly said i want that burfi but he knew that his parents would not listen. They will say that you are greedy for things. So without listening to the answer of his parents, he didn't wait for the answer of his parents and he moved away. 
a flower seller hawked a garland of gulmohar a garland of gulmohar the child seemed irresistibly drawn irresistible which cannot be avoided drawn means attracted he went towards the basket where the flowers lay heaped and half murmured i want that garland but he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap so without waiting for an answer he moved on next he came across a flower seller who was shouting a garland of gulmohar gulmohar is a kind of flower garland uh, is flowers put together which you cannot which you can wear around your neck so he was attracted by that garland of gulmohar and he wanted that and he half murmured that means he slowly said i want that garland but he knew that his parents would not give it and they will say that those flowers are very cheap so he didn't wait for the answer and he went on a man stood holding a pole with yellow red green and purple balloons flying from the from it the child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of their silken colors and he was filled with an overwhelming desire to possess them all so balloon our children's favorite they uh, the child was getting attracted by the rainbow glory that means the rainbow colors so attractive colors rainbow colors of the balloons and an overwhelming uh, uh, he was full of desire to possess them that means to get those balloons but he well knew that his parents would never buy him balloons because they would say that you are too old to play with such toys so you are now grown up you cannot play with balloons so he walked further without even expressing his desire next a snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket so next was a snake charmer he was playing on his flute a musical instrument which they play to charm the snake and the snake was coiled it was sitting in the basket its head raised in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan so it its he head was raised from the basket while the music stole into its invisible ears like the gentle ripping of an invisible waterfall ripping is waves so the music was going into the ear of the snake the ears of the snake are invisible but the music was gently slowly going into the uh, like waves like sm uh, invisible slow waves into the ear of the snake and the child went towards the snake charmer the child was again attracted and he went towards the snake charmer but knowing his parents had forbidden forbidden means uh, when permission is denied him to hear such coarse music coarse means harsh as the snake charmer played he proceeded further but the child was not allowed to hear the harsh music of the snake snake charmer so the boy went ahead there was a roundabout in a full swing so now there was a roundabout a swing which goes round and round men women and children carried away in a whirling motion whirling is rapid round and round movement shrieked and cried shriek means to shout in a sharp voice cried with dizzy laughter dizzy means the sensation of spinning so uh, when you sit in a uh, roundabout you feel dizzy so they were just going in a round and round motion they were shouting in their shriek shrieking voice and they were feeling dizzy now the child watched them intently and then he made a bold request i want to go on the round about round about please father mother so finally the child stood there he watched them he was attracted by the swing and he made this bold request that he wants to go on the round about there was no reply when he expressed this desire there was no reply from his parents so he turned to look at his parents they were not there ahead of him he turned to look on either side they were not there he looked behind there was no sign of them so now the child he expressed his desire but he didn't get any answer so he looked everywhere ahead of him to towards his back left right but there was no sign of his parents a full deep cry rose within his dry throat and within a certain jerk of his body he ran from where he stood crying in real fear mother father tears rolled down from his eyes hot and fierce so now the child got completely panic stricken he got scared he ran here and there in search of his father he started crying tears rolled down from his eyes his flushed face was convulsed with fear convulsed means completely shaken so his 
face where he was crying uh, he was it was completely full of fear panic stricken he ran to one side first then to other hither and thither in all direction hither thither means moving in all direction he was confused he was panic stricken he was completely shaken he ran here and there in search of his parents knowing not where to go now he didn't know where to go he didn't know where his parents were mother father he wailed wailed means cried his yellow turban came untied and his clothes became muddy now he uh, he couldn't he didn't know what to do he was running here and there and his uh, even his turban from his head had fallen down and his clothes became muddy having run to and fro in a rage of running for a while he stood defeated his cries suppressed into sobs at little distances on the green grass he could see through his filmy eyes men and women talking now he he was completely confused completely scared his cries turned into turned louder and louder he was sobbing he was crying very loud at the distance he could see at the green grass he could see uh, men and women they were talking he tried to look intently among the patches of bright yellow clothes but there was no sign of his father and mother among these people who seemed to laugh and talk just for the sake of laughing and talking so he at distance he saw some men and women and he tried to search his parents there but there was no sign of his parents there he ran quickly again this time to a shrine to what to which people seemed to be crowding so again he ran in some direction this time to a shrine to a temple where there were there was a crowd every little inch of space here was congested with man but he ran through people's leg his little sob lingering mother father near the entrance to the temple however the crowd became became very thick so now he there was little space uh, there he ran through the, uh, the little space that he could find even through the legs of the people crying mother and father shouting mother and father he came near the entrance of the temple but the crowd was becoming thicker there men jostled each other jostled means push heavy men with flashing murderous eyes and hefty shoulders so men heavy men strong men they were pushing each other the poor child struggled to thrust away between their feet but not to and fro by their brutal movements he might have been trampled underfoot had he not shrieked at the highest pitch of his voice so the poor child being very small and soft he was uh, struggling to make his space between their feet he was about to be trampled underfoot that means he could could have been pressed under the foot of people if he had not shouted on the top of his voice he was at the same time crying he was about to come under the foot of people but at the same time he was crying so he was visible to people he was shouting mother father a man in the surging crowd heard his cries stopping with great difficulty lifted him up in his arm so finally a man saw this boy in the surging crowd in the growing growing crowd and he with a great difficulty he stopped and lifted that boy in his arms how did you get here child whose baby are you the man asked as he steer clear of the masses that means to keep away from the crowd so this uh, man moved a little distance away from the crowd and then asked this child who are you how did you get here who are your parents but the child wept more and more bitterly harder and even now only cried so now he only cried he was crying harder and harder and he said i want my mother i want my father the man tried to console he tried to soothe this boy by taking him in the to the roundabout now this man took the boy to the roundabout will you have a ride on the horse he gently asked as he approached the ring the child's throat tore into thousand shrill sobs and he only shouted i want my mother i want my father so the man offered him to go to the roundabout but the child was only crying he was not uh, accepting anything except his mother and father Now the man headed towards the place where the snake charmer still played the flute to the swaying cobra listening to that nice listen to that nice music child he pleaded but the child shut his ears with his fingers and shouted his double pitched strain i want my mother i want my father the man took him near the balloons thinking the bright colors of the balloon would distract the child's attention and quieten quieten him would you like a rainbow colored balloon he persuasively asked the child turned his eyes from the flying balloon and just sobbed i want my mother i want my father so the child was getting attracted by all these things in the beginning the snake charmer the balloons but now this man offered all these things to the child but this child did not even see all those things and he 
continuously cried, I want my mother, I want my father. The man, still trying to make the child happy, bore him to the gate where the flower seller sat. Look, can you smell those nice flower chi child? Would you like a garland to put around your neck? So the man again offered him garland. The child turned his nose away from the basket and reiterated his sob. I want my mother. I want my father. So the child turned his nose away. He did not smell the flower and he repeatedly cried. I want my mother. I want my father. Thinking to humor his disconsolate charge by a gift of sweet. Disconsolate means which cannot be comforted. The man looked him took him to the counter of the sweet shop now to soothe this boy to comfort this boy this man took him to the counter of the sweet seller what sweet would you like child he asked the child turned his face from the sweet shop and only sobbed i want my mother i want my father but the child did not want the sweet also he turned his face away and he just said i want my mother i want my father so the child who was initially being attracted by all these things like sweets toys snake charmer garland balloon now refused everything and the only thing now he wanted was his parents his mother and his father the story is by Mulkraj Anand. Now let's go to the question answer. Here are the question answers I have written for you. You can go through them. Pause the video as long as you want and go through the question answers and do that. The last question I have left for you. It is an open-ended question. I want you to think about the end of the uh, chapter. Think whether the child was able to meet his parents finally or not and write in the comment. I would love to read it. So here we end this chapter children. I hope you have liked this chapter. Do comment and tell me what do you think about the chapter. I will end this video now. Bye bye. Take care.